Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to show you how you can use Microsoft Project to run an agile project using sprints. So on the screen, I've got a blank project file. Down the left-hand side, I've activated the view bar. And if you don't know how to do that, you basically right-click and tick this on. I'll just take it off so you can see the view bar. In there, you have a task board. Now, this is only available for certain licenses in Microsoft Project. This is the online desktop client license, not standalone licenses like 2019 or 2021. You won't have this, but let's click on that and it will give you the task board. And at the top there, you've got a tab which gives you some tools as well. So these are your tasks. If I just add a task, you can see how it works. So I'll call this develop strategy. And then I'll add that task. Now, what you've got on this ribbon across the top there is custom cards. These are the cards. There's nothing there except the title. But I'll click on that. I'll be able to get some extra things in there. If I drop this little arrow down, I can do percentage complete, for example, and I can do actual cost. Two good ones to have in there. Click OK to that. So now that sits in there. And if I had another task, I'll just call it Coord, coordinate teams and then another one train staff pressing enter to, is instead of clicking OK and then develop product develop product just press enter on that. That'll do for now. So you can actually move these across into different sections on this board view. But what I want to look at is creating some sprints. So at the moment, I haven't got any sprints. But if I go to this sheet, that will give me some other options. So you can see that um, there's no sprint set for any of these tasks. So if I go where it says no sprint and then drop the arrow down and add a sprint, it will open up. The sprint box there so these are just set to two weeks and I'm just going to basically add a, a few of these just add four sprints like that and they're following on two weeks apart you can change the duration of these if you so wish I'll just click OK to that so now I've got this sprint sheet you can actually um, see the names that have come through from the tasks that I've done but if I go into sprints, this is this first sprint. If I drop that little arrow down, you've got sprint two and you've got sprint three and so on and so on. All the three, all the sprints are there. If I go into planned, everything is under no sprints. So if I move these across to different options, I'll put two in there. I'll put three in there, in fact. So now you've got some information in there. If I go back to the task board, everything is still set. If I go to sprints, you can see the first sprint that I did, sprint one, has got these in there. If I select sprint two, it's just got one task and then you can move these across as they get done. You just move them across for various different sprints that you've got set up. If I go to sprint two, uh, was sprint two go to sprint one and move some of these across like so that one's complete now if i go back to the board view you can just see sprint two is showing me there if i drop this list down you can select no sprint you can select current sprint you can select any one of these, whichever you want. I'll go for Sprint 1 because it's got the most information on it. That's got complete because I've pushed it into this column there. You can add extra columns if you want. If I go to the Gantt chart, uh, where's the Gantt chart there? See the tick there? That's because I've completed that one. It's just moved that one across. There's um, 
no durations on this, but you can still utilize the Gantt chart. You can still do indenting tasks and things like that on the Gantt chart as well. So I've just moved these across so they're indented and put some durations in. Uh, obviously that one's complete, so it's not really, it doesn't really matter. Okay. And so that's the Gantt chart. And then I've got the network diagram task board, back to task board. So wherever you, however you want to run a project, you can do both. In this, you've got Sprint, you've got the task board. I've gone through that one. Sprints, you can make sprints. You can see your planned sprints. And back to the board, you can go back to your sprints itself. You can manage sprints in there. Change them if you want, change the dates, all to do with running a project like an agile project as opposed to just following it a task list like a gantt chart that you would normally do in microsoft project so hopefully this little video has been of use thank you for your time and i'll catch you on the next one